Here comes our second patient, Chili the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chili is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just aren't used to being indoors in warm places. Emperor penguins just like you All have fat and feathers too That's to keep you warm, you know When you play out in the snow Sledging down the icy hill You don't ever feel the chill You have lots to keep you warm Even in a big snowstorm Yes, it's true what I've been told Where you're from, it's very cold In the Antarctic you are not Now you're feeling far too hot Just to keep you cold and nice We've, we've made, made you this coat of ice This will keep you nice and cool When you're feeling hot in school This coat is made of ice which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo... Do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil... Breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris? Can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster, please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. 
Hello, Alice. What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh, I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own You're making life more tricky Whereas you could make it known that you need a little help And your friends can clearly see A helping hand is welcome Work together, that's the key Share the load, it's going to help each one of you wonders and you can work as one on your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend share the load it's going to help each one of you strong and to be brave share the load it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on share the load you need a little give and take we can help each other to be strong and to be brave share the load There you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done. You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Here's Colin the Chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard and did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, Please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which.
test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Fantastic. Oh, look. Here comes Felix at 11 o'clock. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates. Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Well done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Great. Who's our last patient at the Pet Rescue Centre today? This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon. You look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi, Gordon. You look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh, dear. This is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Here comes Henrietta Hen. Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? My friend Henrietta, you lay lovely eggs But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's not right Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval An oval Henrietta Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? <laughs> That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. Here comes Jimmy the rabbit. Oh dear. It looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. 
In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, the squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coats of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest. You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic You really stand out I love the jacket It's a perfect fit You look amazing Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow They're all here for you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours we can see you Once you know about the friends you have You'll forget you ever felt so sad You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily. You are now flea free. Our first animal today is Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. 
Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Wow, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello Rudolph, you don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? Are you telling me you can't fly Rudolph? We have to fix that, don't we, so you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe 
Instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? Brilliant, Rudolph! Look at them go! Merry Christmas, Santa! Merry Christmas, Rudolph! Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Thank you for the present, Santa. I'm glad Rudolph is feeling much better. Did you know that snakes can't chew their food? So they have to swallow it whole. Hi there, Sally. Let's take a look at what might be the matter with you. Hmm, it looks like Sally might have swallowed something that doesn't belong there. I know that shape, but let me just double check. Robbo, I think we need to have a closer look. Can you take an x-ray, please? One x-ray coming right up. An x-ray is a machine that can see through things. We can use it to take pictures of our insides. It's a key! Oh dear, Sally, a key definitely doesn't belong in your tummy. Swallowing keys and other objects like this can be very dangerous. It could hurt your tummy and make you very unwell. <laughs> well, now we know what the problem is, how can we remove the key from Sally's tummy? How about a magnet? Magnets are amazing. They have a magnetic force that can attract some types of metals, like iron. Good idea, Robbo. If we put the magnet against Sally's skin, it will pull the key towards it and we can move it along Sally's body and back out of her mouth. Stay calm, Sally. This won't hurt and the key will be out in no time at all. Hooray! It's out! How do you feel, Sally? Great work, Robbo. I think Sally's saying thank you. I think it must be my magnetic personality. Here comes Cecil the Snake. Let's welcome our first animal, Sarah the Cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah, shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three. Three beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. This is very 
very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy America Australia Shane is from Australia, which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout Cling on, don't let go You have lots of friends you know Cling on, don't let go We can call your friends back home You can scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef The Great Airs Rock, where many brave people have climbed to the top. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends back home. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends back home. So there you go, Shane. Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you, all the way from Australia. I think this one's for you, Shane. It's your cousin, Bruce. Here comes our first patient. Twinkle, the robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called robin redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Here comes Twinkle, the robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called robin redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? 
She's already feeling much better. Meerkats are very good at digging. They use their sharp claws to dig tunnels and hidey holes underground so they can stay cool and stay safe. They are also good at keeping an eye out for danger. Hello, Jamila. How can we help you today? Aww. Oh dear, you seem to have trouble moving your head. Does your neck hurt? <coughs> have you been on lookout for too long? Just as I thought. Let's check you over. Can you move your head from side to side? And up and down? Well, I'm afraid someone else is going to have to be on lookout duty for a bit while your neck gets better. You've been doing the same thing over and over again for too long and your neck muscles are all achy. Robbo, I think we're going to need a neck collar. A neck collar will help keep your neck still. No more twisting until it is better. There you go. That should feel better. Ostriches are the largest birds in the world. They are so big that they can't fly. But they have very powerful legs and they can run even faster than a zebra. Hello, Oni. How can we help you today? I see. Your tummy is very big. Does it hurt? Did you have a big lunch? And was it a healthy lunch? Ah, oh, I see. I think you have tummy ache. You need to make sure that you're eating healthy food, Oni. Isn't that right, Robbo? Correct. Every day, you need to eat lots of different foods, including fruit and vegetables, to stay healthy and have a happy tummy. Make sure you eat plenty of healthy fruit and vegetables, drink lots of water too, and I'm sure your tummy... <laughs> we'll start feeling better soon. Phooey! <laughs> That's funny. We were expecting Tao the lion, but he isn't here. Goodness! There you are. We'd better take a look at you. Lions are sometimes called the king of the jungle, although they actually live on the grasslands. They like to hunt at night and have such a loud roar that it can be heard for miles around. Oh dear, Tao. Can you roar at all at the moment? Does your throat hurt? Maybe you have toothache. Um, I'd better take a look inside your mouth. Open wide. Oh dear, Tao. You haven't been looking after your teeth at all, have you? I'm not surprised you have toothache. Oh dear, Tao. I think we have to take the rotten tooth out of your mouth before it gets any worse. Don't worry, I'll give you an injection so that it doesn't hurt. to make sure you don't have toothache again. Robbo, can we give Tao's teeth a good clean, please? Brushing your teeth is super important. It helps to keep them strong and healthy. What do we do with our teeth each day? We chomp and we chew and we eat our way through lots of 
of lovely food but our teeth should stay nice and clean what would you do if your teeth were gone you'd live on porridge and watermelon not a lot of fun so it's best to keep them nice and clean we all like treats with sugar and fizzy drinks are fun but spare a thought for what you'd do for teeth if you had none so brush 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 twice a day to brush at least twice a day so we don't have to remove any more teeth. Zebras have a striped pattern on their bodies to help them camouflage in the grasslands. Camouflage is when an animal blends in with its background so it can't be seen easily. Hello Zane! I don't think you'll be able to camouflage very well today. You are black and pink! What happened? I see! You have sunburn! Did you spend too long in the sun? Going outside in the sunshine is lovely, but we must remember to protect ourselves from sunlight by wearing a hat and putting on sun cream. yourself from the hot sun. Robbo, could we give Zane some sun protection please? That's better. Take care in the sun please Zane. Who's next? Hippos love to spend time in the water and they can hold their breath for up to five minutes. Hippos are also pretty enormous. The only other animal on land bigger than a hippo is an elephant. Hi there, Bobo. What can we do for you? Your skin looks a little dry. And you seem to be scratching an awful lot. Don't worry, Bobo. Skin can often get dry in the heat and the sun. We can fix this easily. You just need a bit of pampering. Dry skin can be treated with a little moisturising cream. It helps the skin go soft again. That's true, Robbo, but we can use something even more fun to moisturise Bobo right outside the watering hole. Hippos love a mud bath. 
<laughs> Issa is a spotted hyena. Hyenas like to hunt in groups, and their teeth and jaws are so strong and powerful that they can bite straight through bone. Whoa there, Issa! It looks to me like you have a bad case of the hiccups. What brought this on? <laughs> laughing, then I'm sure that the hiccups will stop too. Having hiccups can be a bit annoying, but they go away on their own after a little while. That's right. Try and take a deep breath, Issa. Oh dear, that didn't work. Boo! Ah! Sorry, Issa. Sometimes a shock helps to get rid of hiccups. Well done, Robbo. I think that has done the trick. Do you feel better now, Issa? Lulu is an oxpecker bird. These birds are also known as tick birds because they like to eat the tiny insects that live on the backs of other animals. Lulu, you seem to have damaged your wing. Does it hurt? You poor thing. At least you can still move it, so we know it's not broken. But I think it is sprained, so you will need to rest it so it can get better. Robbo, do we have a sling? A sling is a folded piece of material that is used to hold an arm or wing still. The arm rests inside the sling so that it can heal properly. Is that more comfortable, Lulu? Good. Remember to rest as much as you can. Crocodiles have been around since the dinosaur times and they are very good hunters and swimmers. They also have excellent night vision, which means they can see in the dark. Now, Dahlia, I hope you're going to behave yourself. No biting, please. What seems to be the problem today? Oh dear, you have a splinter. That should be quite easy to fix. I'm surprised a friend didn't pull it out for you. <sighs> Lots of other animals are scared of crocodiles. They are very strong predators with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Maybe they didn't realise you needed help. Ah, uh, yes. I see why you came to us, Dahlia. Don't worry. We'll remove your splinter. Robbo, the tweezers, please. Tweezers are used to grab hold of something small, like a splinter, so that you can pull it out easily. Now, hold still for me, please, Dahlia. You're being very brave. There you go. As good as new. Helping animals is what we're here for. Come on, Dr Poppy. I think we best be off to our next patient. Chimpanzees live in tropical forests and are excellent climbers. They are very clever. They can use rocks to crack open nuts and can even make umbrellas out of leaves. They also love to play and have fun. Goodness me, Kwame! Are you sleepy? Sure. 
You're a bit wobbly. Watch out! <coughs> you seem a little clumsy too. Did you get a good night's sleep last night? There, there, Kwame. I think you're overtired. Sometimes, when we're tired, we can be grumpy or get upset very easily. Robbo, can we have a tissue for Kwame, please? If you've been playing all day and running round, then people say it's time for a rest. If you've been having some fun and laughing all the time in the sun, now here's what I suggest. There's a time to come away When your eyes are feeling heavy And your body's trying to say Here's a message that's for everyone Sleep tight For a great tomorrow Sleep tight Be kind to yourself Good night You can dream of adventures You'll feel bright and ready for another day Sleep tight It's really important to get enough sleep each night So you can play the next day I think you need to go to bed a little earlier tonight Don't you Kwame? Hey.